Good morning, everyone. How are you all? I'm sorry, the microphone's not working. <laughs> I noticed and I tried to stop it and it didn't work. Right, okay. We're on. Good morning. How are you all? I hope you're having a wonderful morning so far. Uh, it is part four, I think we're up to, of this beautiful six drawer pine dresser. Yesterday, we put on the first coat of our colour. We custom mixed a colour using Pure Eco Silk Finish. Uh, we had Fossil, Snow, and I think it was Brumby. Hang on, my jar's here. And Brumby. So we had three colours we mixed together. We pretty much made Fossil <laughs> by accident. Uh, but look, we had fun mixing, so that sort of entertained me a little bit because I'm bored. Like, there's nothing fun about this, but it is a beautiful piece. So... Um, we're now looking really pretty, but yesterday afternoon as it was drying, all I could see, let me bring you close off, were all of the holes that we hadn't filled. And I don't typically fill every single little hole. However, this piece, once it was painted, it's such a big piece and all I could see was, was the hole. So I went through last night. And I used my finger and I filled in pretty much every single one. So there's still a couple that aren't filled, but it's like 90% there. Um, so it's looking a little bit freckly today, uh, but we're going to cover that up with a coat of paint. So you can still pop filler in um, after, after you've painted if you want to. Most fillers you can wipe with a wet cloth once they're dry um, and it will remove the excess around so that's what I did and then it's dry completely dried overnight they were only really shallow little dints anyway well we have done that and we are now ready for coat number two our first coat was pretty much perfect I will say like the coverage let me bring you in a little bit closer hang on I'm gonna pop you out I want to show you because the coverage like the coverage of fossil normally is excellent but the coverage of fossil when we've mixed it ourselves is just fantastic like you can barely see there's a couple like little spots down here but it's looking so good so we're a little bit freckly a little bit pimply today <laughs> with all of our filler but that's all going to get covered up in a second but our coverage is just fantastic there's a couple of bits where i was wiping it off the paint came off a little bit but that's normal that's fine um, I just used a damp sponge to wipe it off. You can sort of see the white marks. But we're looking really, really pretty. Um, I'm really happy with it so far. It is a beautiful piece. I am so bored because it's white um, or it's a creamy white. But it, it does look good. I will give it that. It does look really pretty. I think the handles, the original handles will look really nice on the colour. Um, so look, it's a nice piece. It's a piece that will sell, which obviously I'm doing this to sell. Um, so that's important, but um, look, I had fun mixing the colour. I'm so bored. I need to do something else, but this is what we're doing today. So once again, I've got my roller tray, my Two Fussy Blokes roller. It's still a little bit damp. I have just sat it in front of the heater for five minutes, so it's pretty much dry. Um, and, but my brush was soaking wet, uh, so I just grabbed, maybe not that one, because it's all fluffy. Hang on two seconds. <laughs> brushes are but we've got this is a 63 millimeter so it's quite big normally I only use a 50 or a 30 a 38 sorry um, quite big but it's clean there's not paint jamming up all the bristles it's gonna work for what we need and it's probably a really good size to do this bit anyway so yeah I can put those over there I've got I haven't cleaned my bench. <laughs> this fill all over it. Alright, so we've got our paint. As always, give your paint a good shake. We're 
we're going to tip out a lot a little bit we're not going to use quite as much you'll find second coats generally don't use as much as your first coat but again we're just getting this paint on there this will be our last coat we will not need a third coat so i'm just going to tip some of that out into my tray we're not going to need a third coat at all on this piece this will be our last and final coat of paint there may be a couple of little spots that we need to do a touch up on but we won't need to do a full third coat. So, loading our brush just as no, oops, without flicking paint everywhere, <laughs> just as normal. And I'm just gonna do this trim first again. I just find it's a lot easier doing bits like this first, because then too, I know that they're done and I don't forget them, and then I can just roll and I don't have to stress too much. Now it is, freezing cold in here today. It is absolutely visually cold. So I can already feel my paint's not super happy. The sun's out, but it's not on the shed yet. It's quite early, it's only 9.30. Um, the sun doesn't sort of hit the shed till 10.30 onwards. Um, so it is cold, but we'll see how, how we go. I'm just gonna pop around the end. I'm not gonna move the camera for this. I'm just gonna do the trim down this end as well. I just want to make sure it gets into all those little nooks and crannies. Like so, so it's looking pretty. I'm going to do it down this end as well. So second coat, you just, you want to get the paint on, but at the same time you do want to take a moment as well, just to make sure that you get nice, even brush strokes. If you're using a brush, if you're using a roller, nice and even this is when you get that perfect finish and like this looks like i've sprayed it it really does there's no um there's really no roll marks or anything like that on the piece even the bits that i've brushed the silk finish does self level and it does look like i have i'm just doing these little decorative bits on the feet um it, it, it looks like I've sprayed it. It really is a spray-like finish with the two Bussy Blokes rollers. They're so good at what they do. And when you pair them with the silk finish, they really are just fantastic. So I'm just cutting in these bits here. I'm just doing a couple bits that I've got a brush. I'm just gonna do them first. I want them in nice and neat and done. I'm sorry, they have a lot of noise over somebody wanted me to specifically show you how I load my rollers so I sort of just do it in my paint there's a lot of paint on there you can see it's hanging off and everything and then roll it onto a clean section if you're using the plate same concept just roll it across a clean section I do like um, the paint palettes because it's got these lines which just helps um, wipe off some of that excess paint and then you'll have a nice evenly coated roller Again, it really doesn't matter what direction you're rolling. Just do whatever's most comfortable for you. And we're all about just getting this paint on, but also making sure that we get a nice, clean finish as well. I'm just dusting some of that dust off that. It's just the um, filler from when I did it last night. There's little clumps of it all over the table, so I'm just wiping them off so they don't get on my roller. I should have vacuumed first. I don't even know. Oh no, the vacuum's over there. Hang on. Two seconds. <laughs> I'm just going to vacuum that because I don't want to get any clumps of anything. Come over here, vacuum. Clumps of anything on my on my paint. It's a crap back in the I can see. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, I'm just going to vacuum. That is better. This 
vacuum. My husband has an e-waste business. And every now and then, we get a vacuum in that works or semi-works. Works enough. Um, so I just use one of those until they no longer work. <laughs> and this one's crap. <laughs> It is, it, it doesn't work very well at all. It barely sucked up any of that, but that's all right. We'll see how we go. All right, so just rolling across the front. Now, I still haven't um, pulled out the drawers and done along the lip on the inside. Let me bring you closer and show you what I mean while I'm talking about it as well. So once this is all dry, I'm going to pull, oops, sorry. Hang up my hand, threw that out. Gonna pull out the drawers and I'm just gonna paint that lip on the inside. This side's not too bad, there's a few little bits. So, and none of my drawers are touching it on this side as well. So I'm gonna pull my drawers out and just do that little lip as well. It just makes it look a bit neater. It's completely optional, um, but it will make it look, sorry, I can't get that back in there. <laughs> right, um, it's just gonna make it look that little bit neater. Um, again, completely optional. But, and if I was doing it for myself, I maybe wouldn't worry about it, although this is a custom color, so I probably would. Um, but because I am doing this as a saddle as well, we're all about making sure they are extremely loud. Coming on, those days, isn't it? Um, we just wanna make sure that like we're doing the best that we can to achieve a beautiful finish. And it's important that we take a moment to do those little sections as well. So just like so. If you haven't watched our previous lives on it, I have sort of cut together a quick little reel, one minute reel. Um, I posted it on Facebook and Instagram, TikTok and YouTube last night. I was organized um, of this piece and sort of what we've done so far. So if you just want the highlights, I'm going to check that out. So we're just making sure that we get a nice even finish today. And this is gonna help make sure that we've got a beautiful piece. If you put your paint on too thick, it's gonna leave more marks as well. So making sure, oh, more roller marks I should clarify. Make sure your paint's not too thick on your roller. This looks heaps better. So there's still a few of those little dints. Um, and it's just, it's how they make, they literally take like a block of wood or a bit of, um, sometimes they do like chains and stuff as well, but it's a block of wood with nails in it and they just whack it on the boards um, to create this, faux rustic finish. Um, and look, it looks fine and it looks great on the timber, but when you paint over it, sometimes it starts to look a bit not so great. So we're just, uh, we're just building some of those holes. Right, I'm just gonna do around this side before I forget. mil frame as well I forgot to say um, so I don't have any of the frames left in stock I'm going to order more um, I don't think it's going to be this week it probably be next week I think um, but I will order more but I've got heaps of the actual um, rollers available and they do suit any 100 mil standard 100 mil frame as well I do have some of the 50 mil which are half the size 
Um, I've got, I think I've got one frame left and one packet of rollers left as well. And I do have them up as a bundle on the website too, so you can grab both at a slightly discounted price. But everything is linked in the description here for you. So I'm going to get this coat of paint on and then that will be it for today. Uh, we're taking, so we're not open tomorrow for our locals. Uh, we have got a delivery tomorrow out past Heathcote for one of our very lovely clients. We've got a big truckload going over to her. Um, and we're going to be bringing back some pieces for sale as well, which is really exciting. Um, so today I'm just finishing up this, getting her stuff ready, making sure that I've got it all. Uh, I always forget something, so making sure that we've got it all for her. And then I'm going to spend my day over at my husband's shed, organising and trying to shuffle stuff because we've got a truckload of e-waste coming in tomorrow as well. As soon as we get back we're going to go collect the load. Um, from one of our new, newest clients and um, there's no room over in his shed and I need to be here to do this today and I've got a few other things to do so we uh, drew straws and I won so I'm here today but it means that I have to go and sort out all this things. I'll take a photo and show you what I'm doing it's a, it's a lot it is a lot Um, and I'm just going to clear the way in the doorway more than anything so that we can uh, bring this load in tomorrow and put it somewhere. Hopefully start processing it straight away as well depending on how we're going for time. We've got two, oh, Rosalie's not sick but Harry's sick and Joe's not feeling 100% either so we got to stay home today with the baby. So at the second page, you can see how fast this is. Uh, I think we're maybe 10 minutes in, maybe 15. I always say we're only so far, but I, I don't have the greatest concept of time sometimes. <laughs> and one last end, and we're looking beautiful. I've got a little drizzle of paint left in my tray here. Scoop that up, see how we go. I might, oh there's quite a bit on my roller too. We'll see how we go. I might get pour out a little bit more. So I think, and we'll have a look in the tub as well and I'll be able to sort of show you how much we have used roughly for this piece. So we were discussing the price um, and how much sort of I put into this. Now I have used paint that I've already got um, and I've poured my own, I've used paint that we've already got and we've obviously created a colour as well. The roller, the tray, etc. that's all completely reusable. So the only sort of expenditure which isn't obviously reusable is the paint, the primer and the filler on this piece. Um, oh, and the um, lemon myrtle cleaner that we use to clean it. So our cost for this is pretty low. Obviously we didn't have to, if you didn't catch up yesterday, we ended up not needing to replace the runners on this one either. So uh, we brought the piece for $90. We didn't need to replace the runners. I decided not to replace the drawers. So like I just sort of rounded off, but I'm gonna say around $10 for the paint, etc. Um, the roll in that obviously we're going to reuse so I wouldn't necessarily count it um, and as I said in my previous ones I also don't um, <coughs> I don't um, what was I saying I don't know I don't um, like specifically sit down where oh, I've used this exact amount of paint so it cost me this exact amount I just rammed it up um, obviously, I am getting my paint wholesale as well because I'm a stockist, uh, which cuts my costs quite a lot. Um, but like all up, I'd round this up and say I've used 10 to $15 worth of product on this. 
I still need to sand the top. That's going to um, up my cost just a little bit uh, because I have to, um, my words aren't coming to me today because I'll go through a couple of sanding discs. Although the ones I'm trying out, I'm still trying out the new Ryobi ones. Um, I did a post about them a few weeks ago. I'm really, really liking them. And I seem to get like a couple of good projects out of them the other day. So I'm hoping, we'll see how we go. Might only use one or two discs on this as well, which will be nice. Um, so that obviously ups the cost a little bit. Uh, and then we've got the cost of electricity for the um, sander as well. If you want to get technical, I don't completely up to you. If it was you doing this project, you didn't get any discounts. Um, so say you spent that $90 on the piece. Your paint is, let me read my sign. Uh, well, you'd really only need a 200 mil. Let's have a look, there's still a little bit in my tray. And we mixed about 250, 250 mil of paint in our jar. We've still got, we've got about half that. So we've used under 200 mil of paint. So you could get away with a 200 mil jar of silk finish, which is $26 from us. And then your basin blocker, I think the small jars, the turner mill jars, I think they're about $20. So about $46, assuming that you've already got your roller and your paintbrush. If you don't, um, you could get away with, I would at least go the 38 mil brush. The 25 mil brush is quite small. Um, so the 38 mil brush is $22 from us. Um, you could go for our cheaper one, which I think is about $15, but it's not as good a quality and you won't get as good a finish. But about $22 for the brush. The roller and the frame set, I think, are $24.99. So you could get, and the brush and roller, you would continue to reuse. So this whole project would be less than $100 for the materials, um, even if you were to sand it, like with the sander, etc., as well. So. Your cost to do a project like this is, I think, on the lower end. As long as you're not replacing hardware and um, like handles and runners or hinges, that sort of thing, that that's when your cost gets really expensive doing what we do. Um, and then adding things like wallpaper or decoupage and that sort of thing, that, that obviously ups the cost quite a lot as well. But if you're just looking at paint and primer, you would have paint and primer both left over. You would have at least half a jar of primer left over, enough for another couple of projects. Um, and you would have like, I would say 50 to 100 mil of your paint, depending, again, depending on the color, but if you did like the fossil, obviously we have mixed our own fossil, but if you use the color very similar to fossil, two coats, you'd be around 100 mil of paint total. Um, maybe 150, again, everyone paints differently. Using a roller, you'll, lose, you'll use less paint than what you will with a brush. Um, but just little things to think about this. Obviously not everybody has $50 to spare to buy paint and stuff, but if you do and you wanna have a go at transforming your own furniture, you can do it fairly cheaply. Um, keep an eye out for sales as well. Our next big sale will be in, uh, what is it, November? Is it November? Yeah, November for our Black Friday sale. So that will be our next big sale. So keep an eye out for sales like that. Um, we've sort of just had end of financial year sales. There's not, we might have a sneaky one somewhere here in the middle. Maybe, maybe next month. What's this month? What are we? July, August, September, October, November. We might have one around August. I generally try to do them sort of every three-ish months. So keep an eye out for sales. Obviously, you don't have to purchase from me. There are heaps of Pure Eco stockers there all over the country. Uh, we're in Australia. Um, so there's stockers all over the country. Um, are there, they're all amazing. So um, go and check them out as well. Obviously, we also stock the Meet by Michelle as well. Again, there's stockers all over the country. So. Um, try out a few different paints, try out, try out different brushes and rollers, etc. Find ones that you love. Have fun. Sing out if you have any questions at all, even if it's not necessarily about the products that I'm using. Um, and it's just general questions, I'm more than happy to help. I can't answer too many questions about other brands, uh, but like they're pretty much same, same when it comes to how we use them. So if you ever have questions, I'm happy to help. Have an absolutely wonderful Tuesday. And um, 
I will see you at the end of the week. We're going to finish the top of this piece. So I'll send this back uh, probably Thursday, and I think we'll finish this Thursday, depending on how my Thursday is going. Tomorrow's out, maybe Thursday or Friday. Um, but we will, we'll, we've just got to finish the top, and we're done. How exciting! Thank you all so much for watching. Have a lovely uh, week, and I will see you at the end of the week. Bye.